Hey y'all! Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. I'm Patrice. Please look at the other content on the channel. And if you enjoy that content, hit that thumbs up button, press the subscribe button, and turn on your notifications by hitting the bell so that you are notified of whenever I post new content. If you would like to interact with me and other amazing crafters join us on Facebook our group on Facebook is also craftable things for my returning subscribers and visitors welcome back y'all as some of you know I love doing sublimation haul videos I love finding things at five below Michaels and of course Amazon that we can use for crafting and that we can use for sublimation. It's always exciting finding new blanks that we could use for giving gifts and even in our small businesses. So a few weeks ago, I was out with my friend Thea looking for artwork for her house. She wants some wall art and we went by Ikea as soon as they opened and of course, while inside of Ikea, it turned into a sublimation scavenger hunt for me. So I was in Ikea just looking at tags, feeling material, just trying to figure out what inside of Ikea could be subbed on. And I'm about to show y'all what I found. Let's get started. All right, y'all. So here we go. I found these seat cushions inside of Ikea. So these are perfect for uh, patio chairs or uh, bar stools that are square. And these can be subbed on. It's 100% polyester. Well, we're going to see if it can be subbed on. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work. But it should be able to be subbed on because it is polyester. And... It's 100% polyester, so it should be able to be subbed on, and inside there's foam, so I'm really hopeful that this foam will take well to the heat, that we won't have any melting or anything like that, so I'm excited about these. Next, I found this rug, and it's a little furry, but it's not too bad. It's like a very tight, tight, tight um, fur on here and this is I believe this is also 100% polyester so I'm going to probably use this for my daughter's room maybe a nice little rug on her floor and maybe put a monogram on it we'll see when I get ready to press y'all know sometimes I change what I'm about to do and then I also found these bath mats and these were a dollar ninety nine, y'all. All of this stuff was really, really reasonable. I think that rug was like seven ninety nine. This, these bath mats were only a dollar ninety nine, and I only picked up three of them. But these can definitely be subbed on. The backing is rubber, so I will probably put a piece of Teflon underneath when I get ready to press, and we will see how this subs. But I'm very hopeful that this will sub really well. Next, I have this other rug. It's another bath mat, I believe. It's it's 100% polyester. The only problem is 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 that I don't know if you guys can see how it yeah, you guys can see that good now. So, you know, I don't know how that will sub, maybe like a nice top um an image that would go on the top of course it's gonna have to go on the top but I can try it and see see how it will look next I have this 
pillow. Okay, so this pillow, it's really like a stuffing pillow, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this into a decorative pillow because it is 100% polyester, and I'm just going to nip off these tags. All right. And so if you are really and truly dedicated and I would po probably or possibly get um, do this myself, you can unstitch this, take out the stuffing, and then you'll be able to have a flat piece of material and you can do like a nice all over sub onto this one and then we stuff it back with the stuffing. But it's not really, it's not really, really a full, full pillow. I don't know if you guys can see. So I, I think that this would be fine going under my heat press. All right, and then we have this blanket. And y'all, I'm going to make me a, um, one of the, this is my whatever type of blanket. I'm gonna make me one of those. And this blanket is, 100% polyester and it's a light gray. I think they had other colors. I did not see an all white blanket, but this gray is nice. It's a nice blanket and you could use this for like a baby gift, a baby blanket. I'm going to use this for myself, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that this color, it's light enough to be able to take the sub ink really well. So we are going to test this out. And if I'm not mistaken, this blanket might have been $1.99 also. Okay? So these are great finds in Ikea if you have an Ikea near you. I don't know if they sell these items online. Ikea does have a website. I don't know if they sell the blankets and the the bath rugs online but they might I haven't checked it out for y'all and if I check it out I'll probably check it out and when I check it out I'll leave in the description whether or not they have it or not all right so these came this did not come already pre-assembled like this and to assemble it is really not major but there are some I think this material it's like it's, it's a plastic type of material, and I think that some of that is inside. So this plastic material is supposed to be put in or placed in so that it can kind of make it a little bit more sturdy. But I am still going to try to sub onto the front of this with my Cricut Easy Press. And we're going to see. We're going to see if this can be subbed on. But I plan on using these in my daughter's room as storage bins for her so and then I'll just put something on the front of of them just to see if they can be subbed we don't know if we don't try and I'm going to test this out if you guys want to see when I first um revealed this haul a few weeks ago in one of our crafts and combos live sessions I actually showed everyone this and I did the unpackaging of this product so this product comes pretty flat it's, it's flat, it's very tight, tightly um, held together inside of a piece of plastic. So it does not come like this. So if you want to see how it came, in case you want to go and buy it, I will have the link to the video somewhere up here, like right now. Yeah. All right, so that's it, y'all. That's all I have from Ikea, but there were so many things. Being in Ikea can be a little bit overwhelming, and so I had to go. But I will probably try to go again. I like to go very early in the morning when there's very few people there to see what else they have. But that's it, y'all. Let's get started with checking this stuff out. All right, y'all. So I printed out a few designs, and we are going to press these to see if they actually work. Today, I am using both the Ecotank 15,000 and the 2750 that have been converted into sublimation printers. I will be using my ink, Dynamic Ink. You can find that ink inside of my Etsy shop, Dynamic Print Supply. The link will be listed in the description. In addition, I will be using, honestly speaking, sublimation paper, which I absolutely love. This paper, um, I'm printing this on plain paper setting. And a lot of times in sublimation, we like to print using premium presentation mat and a lot of other different settings. But this just requires plain paper setting. And 
um, quality printing and I'm going to use that today. This paper also does not require any um, blowout or butcher paper on top because it does not release the ink um, towards your plate. So all of your ink goes onto whatever it is that you are pressing. All right, so we are going to get started. I just need to grab my heat tape. So I will be putting a little heat tape on, not too much, and I will be just taping it down because sometimes if you, when you lift up with your press, sometimes it can cause your image to ghost on your paper and ghosting is where you see a blur or you may see it looks like it's it was pressed twice so you definitely want to make sure that you at least have it nice and secure another way if you don't like to use heat tape or if you don't have the heat tape if you do one swift push down and one up and not hesitate I find that I have better luck that way but that pressure was a lot, but we'll see how it comes out. And we are all done pressing our blanket, and let's see how that went. All right, not too shabby. Remember, this is 100% polyester, and this is how this came out. I just put it kind of centered on the blanket. That's all I really wanted, but the color looks really nice, y'all. It comes out really, really good. All right, guys, so we are going to get ready to press our pillow, and uh, this pillow is not going to, or the heat press is not going to be able to go down fully on the pillow, but I am going to lighten the pressure because the pressure was too much on that blanket, but everything turned out fine. And I'm pressing this for 45 seconds at 375 degrees. Let me just go ahead and do a little wet roll. Okay, right, so I'm gonna press this just to see what that pressure is. And I hope nothing's on my heat press. All right, so I'm going to hold it down while I press. Slide it up a little bit more and let's see how this goes again the other option would be for you to take it apart or you can always make your own pillows I'm just gonna tape this down I don't want it to shift for this one I'm not using a very very colorful image which I'm sure color will take fine on this but I'm actually planning on using this to place in one of my accent chairs so in real life y'all I am not that colorful and then we are going to press all right guys let's see how this came out if it did it doesn't look like it might All right, well, the material subs really, really good. You can see that we have our ink transferred onto there, and it looks really nice. All right, so next we're going to press the seat cushion, and I've already lint rolled it. Please remember to lint roll. I know I don't show it all the time when I am doing the videos but it is very very important that you lint roll you don't want your images to be messed up all right so we are going to press this i'm going to tape it down and for this one i am going to use a piece of butcher paper because i'm really not sure about this material like i'm just going for it to see how it works but the foam in the inside i'm not sure how that is going to react to the heat. So I'm going to use a piece of butcher paper. And so I usually do reuse a lot of my butcher paper because there's rarely ink on it from using the honestly speaking sublimation paper. Hopefully this will give it enough pressure. I do need to up the pressure a bit because 
I lowered it so much. But we'll see. Hopefully my little lines in this one won't mess up. But y'all, you really should use just plain butcher paper that does not have these indentations. Alright, let's see how this went. And I see those indentations from this paper, y'all. You guys probably can see it too. But it's going to be fine. Yeah, it looks like the... Y'all, let me tell y'all. These are probably no good, y'all. That foam, I don't know where that foam has gone in the middle, but it is so flat now. And it's so flat, that foam must have melted away. So, yeah. They sub. They definitely sub. But they melt. Maybe that foam just, like, kind of fried. So, yeah. So, no. These are no good if you want to use the foam. I don't have time to be unstitching stuff and putting stuff back together. I did make this for my class. I was going to use this as flexible seating. So, that's a wrap. Alright guys, so now we are going to get ready to sub onto this dollar mat. I do have a piece of Teflon behind it because it has a rubber backing and I don't want it to melt. Of course, you want to make sure you lint roll Anything that's going to be under the heat press, you really want to make sure that you're lint rolling it because it's going to make contact with the press and you don't want that heat to make you have like those blue spots or any other ink that may be on the top of the plate. You don't want that to transfer down. Also, let me check the pressure. The pressure is too much. Ugh, perfect. And I am going to bring the uh, time to, uh, that will be 35 seconds. I may do 35 seconds for this one. Just because of the rubber. Alright, so this is the image that we'll be pressing on. I tried to get a very colorful image. I'm going to use this in my class. And yes, I know this white is not going to last long. But you can do like other characters. You can do themes on here if you're doing a bathroom theme. There's so many different things that you can do with this mat. All right, and I am going to put this, put a piece of butcher paper on top only because of the material for the same reason why I put butcher paper on top of the seat cushion. All right, guys, we're going to see how this came out. Remember, we only did it for about for 35 seconds. All right, so let's see how this color looks. And it looks great on this mat. And, yo, this rubber did really, really good. Even with me having the piece of butcher paper over here, um, the rubber did really, really good. You can smell it, but it did really, really good. So look, y'all. So these sub great. You can see my tape line right there. This side doesn't have a tape line, but this one does. So eventually I'll try to just like fluff it up. That's all. It just needs a little more fluffing up around. So it came out good. So next we are going to press this rug for my daughter's room. And I will be using just a monogram of her name and... I'm going to put that in the center. I have already lint rolled the rug and also I lightened up the pressure quite a bit because, um, yeah, this is pretty, it's a pretty thick rug, okay, but I did lighten it up a, a little. I'm going to tape it down. Not too much, because that tape kind of lifts the, the material a bit. And I am going to cover the entire rug that's going to be under the press. All 
right. Let's see if that was pressed enough. And I don't want to move it just yet. I do want to see, but it looks pretty decent. So I'll take it off. All right, and this is what we have. This is how it came out. And I think it looks pretty good. So all you just gotta kind of do is fluff it back up. So that's what I'm gonna do. So that it doesn't, that indentation. And let's see how it looks. I mean, it doesn't look too bad once you fluff it back up. All right, next we are going to press this rug and see how this one comes out. Because we don't know, but we can definitely try and that's what we're gonna do. And I am going to, you know what? I didn't want to have it all under. So I'm going to place the image right here. Uh, I'm going to use my butcher paper and we are going to press it. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Oh, well, it kind of like flattens out little waffles, but let's see how it actually looks. So it, it subs, but you can't kind of, you can't really read what it says because of how it, yeah, nope, definitely not. This isn't even like how sometimes the furry material, you can um, just fluff it back or kind of move it in the same direction. This doesn't do that well. You can't really read it. All right, y'all. So I'm going to get ready to press this image on top of here. And hopefully the plastic on the inside won't melt. All right, so we are going to put this down. I'm going to take the edges just to see. And I'm pressing this. This is the Easy Press 1. And I am going to be pressing this for 60 seconds at 360 degrees. Okay. Hopefully it won't melt. And again, I am using, honestly speaking, sublimation paper, so I'm not really worried or concerned about any ink transferring. I hope the inside is not melting. All right, guys. Let's see <clears throat> what we have. That inside did melt. But I am going to give it a few minutes to see if it hardens back. But this is the image and it does take really well. It's just that plastic on the inside, y'all. That plastic melts. So I'm gonna stand it up and hopefully that might be enough but we are going to check and see if I put the pieces on the side, if that works. All right, so these are the pieces that go in on the sides and maybe that might help it to, to stand up. Okay, so. This goes in over here on the side.
Oh, guys, look. And now it stands. So you can even sublimate the other side. Just take out the ones on the side. But the boards on the side, once you put those in, it helps to make sure that it still stands. And this is hard, so what I would recommend is just flattening it out a little bit. But look, it takes nicely, and you have a customized bin. All right, y'all. So we are all done with subbing onto these items that I found from Ikea. And some things were great, some things not so much. So we will start with the two items that I do not recommend subbing on from Ikea. And first, it will be this seat cushion. It subs beautifully the material on the outside. However, the inside, the foam on the inside uh, cannot take the heat. So it is now flat as a pancake. All right, but it does sub. I will find some use for this, but yeah, so maybe if you want to do a little bit of HTV, that temp may take better, but this, no y'all. All right, next we had this bath mat. I am going to use this bath mat, bath mat, but look, it doesn't look too bad when I look at it right here, but I know with like wear and tear and walking all over it, it does not, I don't know, see how it looks guys once, and those don't really go back into lace well. But this is how this looks. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but especially not for words. All right, next we had this pillow, and y'all, I love this pillow. Um, I'm going to use this as a decorative pillow, but it can definitely be used as a stuffing um, for, like, your pillowcases. But this came out really nicely, and I subbed directly onto it. And I am going to use this in one of my decorative chairs, one of my accent chairs. Oh, what else? All right, let's move into this blanket. And this blanket came out really, really nicely. I kind of fluffed up the top part so you guys could see it. But if I fluff up the whole thing, it's still, it does not look bad. Okay? But I actually like this. And my daughter walked by and I got her stamp of approval. So that is all I live for, y'all is for her approval and then I have this mat and this mat this was the $1.99 mat they had tons of these all over Ikea and this came out really really well the color looks amazing on this and this is another one that you can kind of like fluff up if you want because the heat press did flatten it out a bit but I love this mat y'all the colors are so nice then we have that blanket. And I believe this blanket was $1.99. It was not expensive at all. So we have this blanket. And this is how the blanket came out. And on this blanket, you can put like other things on here if you want. Like you can use it for so many different things. I know I said earlier like a baby blanket. but And it's a huge, it's a nice size blanket. So love this and then last and not least i thought this was about to be a disaster y'all i was ready to just throw it in the garbage but guess what it is not and the front part up beautifully it is standing because once you put those side panels in it makes it more sturdy or it makes it sturdier so it subs beautifully. You can do anything if you're decorating a room, using it for something. You can put anything here, any image. If you have like a themed room, like this is awesome. The only problem is, is that the inside, that plastic on the inside, it melts and then it hardens. So once you press it, I would just recommend maybe keeping it flat or maybe laying something heavy on it so that it melts flat. Okay, because what I did is I lifted it up and so I have a slight bend right here. But I think if I would have just made sure something heavy was onto it and just helped the process and flatten it out even more, 
I think that would be a lot better but as you guys can see it's perfectly usable and it is cute I will probably sub the other side I'm not sure these sides here can be subbed also so I don't know if you would want to sub maybe this side and not worry about the outer sides and just sub that and then put your um, plastic in that may work better for you if that's what the the look you're going for this in this direction um, and you will probably avoid melting any of the plastic because remember we put the plastic in after we finish subbing so that is also another option but that's it y'all we are done Ikea had some pretty good finds I'm really loving this pillow very much and I'm sure other colors will take beautifully on onto this pillow onto this material but that's it so I'm going to have to check Ikea out a little bit more and see what other items they have oh that's an all-day trip but I, I I probably could find some other hidden gems inside of Ikea alright so that's it y'all if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like it and if you are not already a subscriber make sure you hit that subscribe button I would love to have you here don't forget about our Facebook group craftable things and also I have a personal vlogging channel teach craft live I would love for you all to join me there as well but that's it for today guys thank you all so much for watching until next time Thank you.